Hello my soccer universe, let's look at the midweek action from the Bundesliga and from the Austrian Cup, uh, remarkably. Um, we'll leave the Austrian Cup for uh, the late, uh, last because it will get a little bit emotional and then I will also explain the choice of the last jersey. Headlines first, uh, Frankfurt still cannot win despite being 3-1 up with just 5 minutes to go. We have the Dortmund under the new coach have a first win. We have Wolfsburg losing for the first time to Bayern with Lewandowski again scoring against his favorite team. And Leverkusen totally dominating the derby and setting themselves up for the great clash uh, coming this weekend. And in Austria, yeah, all the big boys are through except Rapid who got absolutely, absolutely uh, obliterated by Salzburg. So, and of course, a goodbye to my old Saturday living room, maybe. Let's talk about that in a bit. We'll start in the Bundesliga, where, yeah, I saw uh, Eintracht Frankfurt Cloud Club, I saw not every, everything, but I saw it uh, in large pieces. Um, it was in many ways the last Stindl game, uh, who in the 14th minute uh, scored a wonderful free kick to give Gladbach the lead. But then it you thought it was actually Andre Silva's time to shine because he covered a penalty and then after Barcock assist uh, really nicely converted in the 24th to give Frankfurt the lead and it got, got even better because uh, Silva returns the favor to Barcock who slaloms a little bit to the Gladbach defense. 32 minutes, 3-1 Frankfurt. You think the game is done and dusted. You think it's for a long time of the first half. However, Abraham is getting sent off for a holding call and that kind of gave Gladbach a little bit of hope again. Yes, they made quite a few changes up until that point. But um, you still thought that um, Frankfurt can hold on. Then they gave away a penalty. Um, has to be given and Stindl steps up, makes it 3-2. And then everything, I mean... Uh, Hütter, Coach Hütter tried everything. He brought on Acosta, he brought on Kamada to kind of get this over the line to waste time and, and so on. And still, Lars Stindl after uh, a cross gets a free header, which is safe, but he gets even to the rebound, although there are many Frankfurt players around, can pull it in net and it's 3-3. He scores a hat-trick and a very, very late um, equalizer for Gladbach in a, probably the most exciting game of the weekend. Uh, I actually saw them a lot of the evening games where for a long time there were not many goals scored. Um, one very early was scored by Union Berlin in Stuttgart, um, where Union Berlin actually for large parts of the first half was probably the better, better team, but in the second half uh, Stuttgart really tried to push a little bit more for the equalizer, were caught on the counter, and Avoni in the 77th, seemingly puts the game to bed, but similar to Frankfurt, Union cannot hold on, and it's exactly Kalajic. He comes on the 80th, and he just came from Union to Stuttgart and scores two goals. Second one, uh, they thought it uh, was a, a handball in play, but when you look, look at it, it's really all chest. There's nothing fishy there. A good goal, and it ends 2-2, a late draw, and Stuttgart has a very weird day, have not lost away from home. But at home, they also, I think they have not won yet. So a very, very, very weird season Stuttgart is having. And then, of course, the all eyes were on Dortmund, who actually controlled Werder Bremen quite nicely. Yes, uh, Guerrero gives them the lead. Could have maybe um, uh, piled on to that. But what about Mowald? Mowald. In the 28th, uh, gives Bremen the equalizer. Um, and the game is ebbing and flowing with getting more and more to Dortmund's way. And then in, in, the, in the end, it's a very rash challenge by the Bremen goalkeeper handing Dortmund a penalty. That Reus initially, uh, the bad penalty saves, but on the rebound, he converts it, gives Dortmund an all important win to stop their losing streak. But away from home, they were not that bad. It was always at home that they had trouble. Um, on Wednesday then, Freiburg winning 2-0 at Schalke, putting them a little bit at ease. Schalke gets even more into uh, trouble. Augsburg wins at Bielefeld, also putting Bielefeld into trouble. And then Wolfsburg against Bayern was actually a really uh, good, exciting game. 
with Max Philipp uh, giving Wolfsburg a very early lead and Wolfsburg was really well into the game. It was a, yes, Bayern had more uh, possession, but when Wolfsburg uh, came, came out to attack, they were actually quite uh, dangerous and could have scored pro with some luck a sec second goal. Uh, second goal falls to Lewandowski just before the halftime, 1-1. One, one. And right after the half, he makes it 2-1 and Wolfsburg cannot find a way back. Uh, it is a little bit <laughs> annoying. So Wolfsburg loses for the first time this season. But I think if you want to lose anywhere, it's Bayern. The only thing is that Lewandowski, I think now he is the player who has scored the second most goals uh, against a particular opponent. I think only Klaus Fischer has scored more against another one. So uh, Lewandowski loves to score against Wolfsburg. Uh, the Köln Leverkusen derby. The last two derbies in Köln, Köln won. No, they were, they were never in the game. After 10 minutes, it was already 2 0. Uh, with Musa Diaby being uh, in great shape, uh, really in great form. Um, there was not, the biggest chance for Köln was laid on and it went like a field goal high up. This should have been way more than just the four goals that Leverkusen got. So uh, it's Weiser, Diaby, Schick and Wirtz. Uh, by the 59th it was 4-0. I mean, Köln, everything that Köln had going, going, they basically trashed away on that one. And Leipzig gets a rather tough win, but they get the win at Hoffenheim. It was a rather even game, but Leipzig, you know, getting the job done. And we know that Leipzig is probably the one real challenger, but we'll see about uh, how Leverkusen will develop over there. So, we have now the current table. Leverkusen defend their top spot. Uh, Bayern is just behind. Bayern still um, ahead of the game. Here we don't need to adjust even because everything... Uh, is right. Dortmund now uh, overtakes Wolfsburg and those top four seem like the four that will also go on. Uh, and my model doesn't like Wolfsburg that, that much and Gladbach is only an outside chance as the Stuttgart, Union and Wolfsburg. Um, for uh, some reason they like Frankfurt, I think it's the market value part. If you look at the bottom, yeah, uh, the bottom three are uh, said to be the bottom, bottom three Köln. Uh, three points clear of the relegation spot, so that looks good. Bremen also, but to be honest, they might get in there, but I think the bottom three really look to be on form of finishing there. Now, on the weekend, we have the big, big clash between um, uh, Leverkusen and Bayern, so Bayern against Bayern, uh, which probably will take all the headlines. It's it's on the Saturday, uh, uh, Saturday ki late kickoff uh, with Union Berlin Dortmund already on Friday, which I think is a quite interesting game. Uh, Gladbach Hoffenheim is also not that uninteresting to be honest, and then a big relegation uh, clash between Schalke and Bielefeld. I think both would like to get a win there, and I have to say Wolfsburg Stuttgart. Um, uh, on Sunday, also not uninteresting. Let's move on to the Austrian Cup where we had four games. I will go with the last game, last game last. Um, Kapfenberg beats Blau West Linz. Though. Not really the rival of Lask, although you know, that's a whole, diff whole diff 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 different story, but uh, there's not love lost there. Wolfsburg gets a, a work -like, workman like win over Amstetten and then. Salzburg, I mean, they just look at Rapid a little bit for 50, 50 minutes and then within seven minutes score three goals, game done. Yes, Rapid pulls from back just, just before the half. Uh, and then, you know, at one point it was only 4-2, but it ends 6-2 and it was every bit of 6-2. We can all laugh a little bit at Rapid, uh, which is funny because I think the easiest jersey, if I was to augment my Austrian league jersey collection. I think a Rapid jersey is probably the easiest one to get. Uh, Austria win pro, uh, pro probably too. So yeah, absolute destruction. And then the last game, which was the last game in the old stadium of Linz, which will be torn down in January to be replaced by a spiffy new arena that Lusk will uh, uh, sort of own. I think the bank that is uh, having, having the naming rights will in the end own it or, you know, in any case, it's a huge deal. Uh, 
the stadium was never a great stadium to be to begin with, although it was for a long time uh, kind of one of the one of one of one of those where um, it was a goal to stadium, especially in the 90s when they made it. Uh, you could be converted into all seater at that time. It was hailed as one of the most modern small stadiums, and then they started the whole building boom in the Netherlands. So this was early mid 90s. Um, and then, yeah, uh, they pulled way too much money in there um, for rather nothing. I mean, the most ridiculous thing is they wanted to make the capacity when they sanitized it in the early 2010s to host um, Austrian national team games. And then there were 400 seats short and had to pay actually a fine. Anyway, the game. Lask saw of fourth tier ISK, ISK Electra from Vienna, uh, rather easily 4-0. Uh, Eggestein scoring all three goals, the first two very, sim very similar, all three assisted by, uh, by different ones, and in the second minute it was already 1-0, but the 34th, fourth it was 3-0, and then they just played the game home, but there's only one game left. Um, in the quarterfinals, we also had that draw. Uh, here's the draw. There, nothing has been fixed yet uh, for dates, but we have Lask against Klangfurt, a home game. Very happy about that. But basically, then we have uh, Sturm, a home game against Vienna. This is uh, Vienna, I think, is also it's the oldest team in Ost Austria, but the only fourth tier. Klangfurt is a good uh, team from the second division. Salzburg against Austria Wien is maybe the uh, big name clash, but uh, this is not that going to be a game. I think the Kaufmann against Wolfsburg has probably the biggest chance because it's literally a home game for Kaufmann. But anyway, I would say that all the four favorites, the big four in Austria, and there's no team from Vienna. I don't count Rapid in there at the moment. Um, will qualify, although Wolfsburg is in the table behind, but I think they are uh, at least in the Europa League ahead, so yeah. Well, that ends uh, this video. As I said, I, it was the last game in the old uh, stadium in Linz, so I decided to wear the jersey that I've worn the most in this stadium. I remember Saturday 3.30 being up there was always a big deal for, uh, you know, my late teens, early twins. Uh, always liked to go there, although the stadium was not great. And I want to leave you with some impressions from the old stadium. I my fondest memories there are, I think, the first derby that I saw there, which was from a standing room. I remember a five nil against Rapid. I remember a great game uh, against the great Salzburg team from the mid nineties with the hero Otto Konrad, who just had in the fall before scored a header, the goalkeeper, uh, against the rival, just mishit he hitting ball, I think that this was 995. I have also European um, memories from there. Uh, there is, and there were, we, we had a lot of big name games, but I barely was at any, but I was at the one for the 95th birthday against Ais Roma with Totti scoring the winning goal. Uh, I know that they played for the hundreds, but I wasn't annoyed at the time against Real Madrid. Uh, but I also do uh, remember uh, the first European game that I ever saw Lask play was a 2-3 uh, loss to Stauer Bucharest. And then of course what happened last year, I think the best memories happened there when we beat Basel 3-1 and I was at the Alkma game. So those are Happy memories. I led the Alkma game was the last game I was up there. I had the chance maybe in the spring, uh, in the in the fall a little bit, but I never thought thought about it. And I'm a little bit sorry about that. But I think my last game was being the biggest success in the club's history, except for the championship. I put the championship jersey from '65, the remake there. Is a pretty good end to that story, and I'm looking for. I'm saying goodbye with a slightly teary eye, but to be honest, overall, I'm very happy that a new stadium is built and they want to do it within one and a half years. So good luck with that. And yeah, so goodbye. Stadium on the Google in Linz.
Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon as it will remind you whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.